Welcome to the next installment from the comms guy. My name is James Powell and I work for JCOM Automation Incorporated up here in Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. And today I wanted to talk to you about uh, how you can tell whether uh, what caused the red lights uh, blinking on your Profibus controller. Was it a process issue or was it a communication related issue? If you're like most of my customers, your front end system won't automatically tell you that. All they'll tell you is that there's been a channel error quite often. Uh, and it doesn't differentiate, well, is the problem a network issue or is the problem a device issue and um, pr process related? And uh, that's vital for, for troubleshooting. And it's vital for getting your operations up and going. So uh, the solution to this problem is this innovative product by Procentec called a Combrick. Combrick is a multi-port repeater. And, but besides being a multi-port repeater, it has the ability uh, to do constant monitoring. So it can monitor your system 24-7 and tell you whether, what the issue was very quickly, speeding up uh, troubleshooting and significantly reducing downtime. So let's see on how this works. So let me um, first introduce my uh, my training rack my, uh, <clears throat> that we'll be using for today's demonstration. It has an S7-1200 PLC uh, connected to a COM brick. The Combrick has two modules in it. Now, Combricks can have multiple modules, and this particular one has two one for monitoring Profibus DP, and one for converting and monitoring Profibus PA. And today we'll be focusing in on Profibus DP. And then uh, the Profibus network then continues on to uh, connect to uh, two different Presentec IO simulators and a Helmholtz I.O. rack. The Percentec um, I.O. simulators are handy because they have a separate power supply for the I.O. so I can simulate an error by just plugging in, uh, unplugging the, uh, the power supply to the I.O. causing a, uh, an error on Profibus. So uh, let's take a closer look at, at the Combrick. Now the Combrick, the first module, is uh, um, the head module and it has an Ethernet uh, port on it. The default IP address is 192.168.1.254. So I've brought it up here in the browser. When you go onto the status screen, you get a list of the different modules in the uh, system. And in our case, we're, we'll be using the RS-45 scope repeater to uh, monitor Profibus DP. And then... Um, the part that I, I, I want to show today is the message recording. And with message recording, I can trigger on a number of different events. The events that I tend to uh, focus in on are repeats, because repeats occur if there is a, a network issue of any sort, and, uh, and only if there's network issues, really. Uh, and then diagnostics while in data exchange. So those are the two things that I'm going to trigger on. And I can come down here and take a look at the, my log and see there are no logs. So let's take a look at an intermittent problem. Let's say there's a problem where in a particular part of the cycle there's a, a short in an I.O. module. So I'm going to simulate this by pulling the power supply from one of the Procentec I.O. simulators. So I'll just pull that off and push it back in. And as you can see, uh, the lights all turn back to, to green and uh, everything's looking good uh, from a PLC perspective. But, you know, an error would have been logged into the DCS and it would have said there was a channel error out there. Now, was that channel error caused by a Profibus issue, a network issue, or was it something with the process, something with the I.O. module? That's the problem the maintenance person is faced with, 
and it's not an easy problem to solve unless you have a com brick. You go into the com brick here and it says, oh, well, at 1315, there was a diagnostics well in data exchange. And um, there's a file. Well, let's uh, download it and open it with Profitrace because um, the constant monitor Combrix has built in Profitrace and it uh, produces a Profitrace uh, file. So I'm just going to double click on this and the system will open up Profitrace. And let me just resize the window so it goes onto the screen here. And we can see, ah, red light blinking on item number four. So the problem occurred on serial bus address four, um, the Procentec IO simulator, and it's shown here. And then down here in additional diagnostic information, it says output power supply too low. Bingo, there's your problem. And um, it gives you the hexadecimal dump as well. Now, the PLC would have recorded this event, but it would have and probably would have provided the hexadecimal dump of the error message, but wouldn't have decoded it for you. Now, my experience decoding these error messages, you're looking at, I don't know, 15 minutes to half an hour at least to uh, decode it on a good day. And then... Um, it depends on your skill with working with hexadecimal to binary and working with the manual. Where here, uh, Profitrace, because I preloaded it with the GST files of uh, all the devices on my network, it can decode it for you, telling you specifically what the problem is. Now, think of the speed for maintenance people having this information. You know, there was a red light occurred. And then they went away. Well, what went wrong? What was the problem? And they asked maintenance that. So maintenance goes and they connect up Profitrace or another bus monitor and take a look at and see, oh, there's nothing wrong. And they take a look at the lights and all the lights are good. And they're left scratching their heads um, until the next time it happens or it brings down the network completely. You have to wait till things break. Where with Profitrace, or with sorry the combricks with built-in Profitrace, you see it exactly what the problem is, and then you can um, go and fix it. Now uh, let's do this again with um, a network issue, and um, I'm going to break it completely, and um, and I'll break it completely by uh, let's have a um, one of the I.O. simulators go completely offline. Okay. So I see here that uh, there were repeats. And before I look at that file, let me just go up and take a look at the live list and see what it shows. Well, it shows that number five's dropped off the network. So... I can see right here that, okay, this is where I'm going to begin my troubleshooting. So from a troubleshooting perspective, you know, you get the call, you're in the maintenance uh, department, you go onto the Ethernet network before you leave and take a look at the combrick. And there you have it right there, that a device dropped off the network. Now I can bring up Profitrace and see if it uh, provides any additional information. Uh, in this case, because it was a complete drop-off, all it'll say show is that you know the device has left the network, and um, no more details. So now you know that okay, I'll take my voltmeter, go down and check the power going into it, and check the connections and uh, see what's going on in that particular area. But I'm leaving the maintenance shed or the maintenance room. Uh, knowing what I'm getting myself involved in instead of having no clue. So again, speeding up the troubleshooting. So just to uh, recap, with the, the Combrick and constant monitoring, we can easily tell whether the red lights were caused by um, diagnostics while in data exchange, whether it's you know process-related 
um, was something went wrong with one of the, the field devices, or with repeats, that it's network related. Uh, two problems are handled quite differently, and this really speeds up figuring out which one it is, and then giving you the leg up on actually how to solve it. Today's video has been presented by JCOM Automation Incorporated. For more information about our products or our training courses, please see www.jcomautomation.ca. Thank you again for your time and attention. My name is James Powell. Bye.